Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cut fingernails effect. So I'm just going to take some nose and scar wax as always, making sure I've got Vaseline on my fingertips so it doesn't stick to my fingers because it is a right pain. I'm just going to roll it into a disc shape and place it over the nail that I want to start with and then blend the edges out, making sure that you have a seamless edge. I'm just using a cheap sculpt sculpting tool and my fingers to do so. Until you have something that looks like this. So it basically looks like you've blocked your nails out. And then I'm going to continue the step on the other four fingers. So my camera did decide to die, which is really annoying because I didn't know. Um, but I'm just going to show you this step on this finger. I'm taking a pinpoint tool and I'm just going to carve my desired face. I think I just did like a, a straight face for this one. Don't forget I do have Instagram and I do post daily makeups on there. So I'll leave a link here if you want to go and check it out. So just carve any shape you want, it don't even have to be a face, but I just did this. So now I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to take a dark colour and fill in where we just did the face. Just like so, this will give the cut depth so it looks deeper than it actually is. And I'm going to continue this step on the other three fingers until I have something like this. So the final step of course is the blood, the favourite part. And I'm just going to take my blood and just literally splodge it all over, making sure I've gone inside the actual cuts first though. And then I'm just going to use my fingers, a wet paper towel, just to smear it all over. And this will ha actually help blend the wax into my natural skin tone. Just using a wet paper towel there just to smear it all over. And then it's complete. That is how I created this smiley face nails look. Thanks for watching guys. I really did hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to check out my other tutorials, I'll leave a link here. And also, if you want to subscribe, please hit the button to the right. Bye!